Hey everyone, Jeff from Two Awesome Dads Adventures here to talk about protection. Now we invest a lot of money in protecting ourselves, have the helmet, have the gear. But what I want to do is protect the next most important part of my motorcycling experience by having the protection like crash bars. You may have watched previous episodes where we've installed the Altrider skid plate and the Altrider lower crash bars. But in this episode, we're going to show you the installation of Altrider's upper crash bars to protect this beautiful 2019 BMW R1250 GS. So stay tuned, stay with us. We're going to rip off all this plastic and lay it on the table. We're going to show you all the parts that goes with this and the tools it takes to make it happen. And then we're going to do the actual installation. Well, here comes the fun part. We're gonna rip this open, strip all the plastic off, and see what's underneath all that. Here we go. All right. A little more difficult to pull that off. Look at that, eh? There we go, the upper crash bars. Now what else did it come in this bag? Another one, another one to open up. Oh, well, there's the bolts, washers, and nuts. And there is the bracket that will go on the crash bars that goes underneath the beak of the bike. And thanks again to Altrider, they provided detailed instructions. And for that visual learner that I am, it comes with pictures. Easy to follow. Pretty straightforward. Next, we'll put out a shot of the tools we need to put this together, and then we're gonna put this bad boy on this beautiful bike. First, what we have to do is we have to take some of the bodywork off to be able to get at the beak to remove that. We need a Torx T, 25, I've already started to loosen a couple of the screws. You need to take note that these screws are a different size than the three that we need to remove just inside near the radiator. Still need a Torx T25. You gotta poke your head in here. There it goes. So those three are longer than the first two. Put them in my dish. Now, I'll take this part of the bodywork off. You'll hear this gentle unclip here. There we go. This spot here clips up in there. And we can take that piece of the bodywork and set it aside. Continuing with the Torx T25, we have two more screws. One at the top and one inside. Whoops. Now again, it's a different shape and length than the previous two, so you don't want to mix those up. That too is again like the same size as the one at the top. Now we have to go and get underneath the beak and take two more out, then we'll be able to slide out the beak from the bike. And again, a bit different from the previous ones, so we don't want to mix those up. Now the beak should unclip and slide off to expose the next step, which are these two bolts here. We're going to remove them on this side, two on the other side. We're not going to reuse these 
Alt-Rider provided us another set of bolts to use here for the bracket that will go underneath. With the beak removed, we've exposed the two bolts on either side and the subframe that need to come out. We've got a Torx T25 again. I've removed two from the left side. I'm going to remove these two as I pre-loosen them. Now we're going to put them in a bag because we're not going to use these again because Alt-Rider has provided us with another set of bolts that we're going to need to put on when we put this bracket and they'll line up with that hole and that hole and that'll be the next step. So here's the bracket Alt-Rider provided us. We've got two bolts on each side. They're Allen M4s. We've put on the thread locker. So we line that up. We're only going to do these finger tight to start with until we have everything lined up. So the front ones are the easier ones. The next one is a little more challenging. We're going to put it up there, line it up. I'm going to use this tool here because I need a second washer that has to go between the clip inside there and the frame, the subframe. Easiest position is to do it from up top here. How did we do that, you may ask? Well, we have a pair of reverse tweezers. We put the washer in here and with a good light, was able to line it up. The trick though is that the clip is attached to this piece of plastic. With a gentle bit of pressure, pushed it back a bit, gave it enough clearance to be able to put the washer in and then put the bolt through, lined it up, and then hand tightened it up. So now all four are hand tightened. What we'll do next, we'll get the torque wrench out and these Two here and a matching two on the left side require it to be torqued to 10 newton meters. Once we've completed that, in reverse order, we're going to put the bodywork back on, starting with the beak and then the side panels. Remember, take note that there were different size and types of screws and only use it gently and don't over tighten. This isn't the time to find out if you're Mr. Universe or not, just do it snug. Now you see we got the upper crash bars into position. This really would be beneficial to have another set of hands to help you get that in position so you could begin to put in the four M5 Allen bolts in here into the threaded inserts that are part of that bracket. You need to put thread locker in and put in the last one in here, line it up and it will nicely get into the threaded insert. So we've done them all by hand. We want to do that, making sure they all lined up. Then next, we will torque them up. We'll post the torque settings in the video in a moment and in the description. And next, we'll go to the ends of the crash bars where we'll attach the clamps to the lower crash bars. We're coming in home stretch. Next, we need to do is to take these two pieces and put them on the lower crash bar and the bottom and top of the lower crash bar. We take the bolts provided and the washer. We put the thread locker on it already. They both will come up from the bottom. We start with the rear one first. Line that up. Now we've already done the left hand side. There we go. And then we're going to take the second one again from the bottom with its washer, a lot tight on it. Take the M5 hex head number five and begin to thread it into place. And we're going to do the back one here. And there we go. We'll do the same thing now. With the left hand side, we'll put in that same hex head number five bolt and washer with the thread locker in the front of this clamp 
on the left hand side and we are almost done last but not least when we tighten up those four bolts that attach the front part of the upper crash bar with the bracket under the beak when you've done that you are done remember now after about 100 miles 160 kilometers it'd be a good idea to bring your tools with you put it on the road back of the garage back in your driveway just make sure everything is nice and tight and it's good to go that's it everybody we have completed the upper crash bars making it a nice trio here matched up with the lower crash bars and the alt rider skid plate we have our bike protected thanks for watching two awesome dad's adventures again my name is jeff jody's behind the camera if you liked what you saw hit the like button if you haven't been a subscriber please be one now and if you have any comments or feedback we definitely look forward to seeing them thanks again we'll see you real soon bye for now mm -hmm.